what do you feel are, are the following that are the most pressing topics in the Alzheimer's disease community right now? Um, do you feel as though it's, it's treatment or prevention um, and why? So I think, uh, I think the, in succession, I believe the uh, diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease with going from a diagnosis of in exclusion to a diagnosis of inclusion, going from a diagnostic accuracy of 66 to 70% to better than 90%, I think we're finally a hit that precipice. And I think that'll really, we're gonna see an invasion of biomarker confirmation. And the reason it's very unclear is, is that aducanumab is gonna drive that, right? So the reason, you know, if you have a monoclonal antibody and you're like, you have to prove they have amyloid in their brain, that's the label is gonna say that, right? that they have the disease. How are you gonna prove it? CSF or PET? And PET still, even after ideas too, PET is still not gonna be paid for by CMS. So PET, uh, that's a $5,000 test. No, most patients are gonna cover it. Plasma biomarkers become very relevant in that conversation. And so does CSF biomarkers, because CSF is quick, cheap. I know people get all nervous about it, but it's still quick and cheap nowadays. So. I think you know you're going to see a transformation of diagnosis of exclusion to a diagnosis of inclusion, and I think the monoclones will drive that. That's number one. Number two is we're going to see uh, the transformation that we're going to start to perceive that nihilism is no longer prevalent. That you can treat this is a treatable disease. You can have a meaningful outcome, meaningful impact. I I love I love prevention. It's sexy. It's cool, but it's far okay it's far much farther than most people think and i don't put uh, 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 i i mean we're part of all those prevention initiatives and we are going to do them and but we're not talking about i think you know the things we're talking about the immediacy of the biomarker inclusion the transformation of the diagnosis the transformation of alzheimer's to a, to a chronic disease those are imminent but the the prevention strategies i think down the road is there anything else that that you'd like to include or anything else that um, you feel is noteworthy with whether it be aducanumab or just Alzheimer's disease research in general for this exciting state that we're in? Uh, I, I uh, you know, I, I think that if you go inside the wall, walls of the AAIC, the field itself is energized, very energized. As you were, that's the nature of this whole interview, that you're seeing it yourself as an observer. Uh, and I, you know, you, my colleagues, we're all excited again. You know, we went through kind of a lull of, trudging along and now we're all excited again uh uh this is a very important moment, watershed moment in our field i agree but i don't know that the rest of the community of neurologists psychiatrists geriatricians have actually jumped on the bus i don't know that they're even aware that the these changes are going on so i think it'll trickle down uh but uh the, you know, the inside of the community is excited, but we need to get the rest of the world excited too.